three, two, one, let's do this. My name is Monica Choch and on this channel we talk about fragrances. So if you're interested in that topic, press that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's get on with today's video. Today we're talking about five of the fragrances I'm loving at the moment. I'll link all the fragrances down in the description bar and let's start with number five of, because I've got five here. And this is a bit of a guilty pleasure of mine, actually. And you might be really surprised. I'm really surprised. It's actually the Juicy Couture <laughs> Gold version. This is the kind of fragrance that when I don't leave my house like all day, I wear. So this fragrance is very sweet. It's like a salted caramel vanilla scent with berries. Um, it's just so cozy, so easy. It's like my guilty pleasure. I just wear it when I record, for example, here on like Saturdays or I just want something easy, non-offensive, that won't be uh, projecting as much because this fragrance doesn't have the best longevity, doesn't have the best sillage at the center row, but I just love it. It's a, like I've been craving sweet fragrances like this sometimes when I'm just at home and yeah, I just want something really easy to wear. This is a, an excellent scent for very affordable price. It, smells kind of young, younger than I am, I feel like, but it just brings memories of like my teenage years and I've been really enjoying it actually. So number five, Juicy Couture Gold, Gold Couture. Viva la Juicy Gold Couture, that's the name, the proper name. Number four is a very, very likable, beautiful fragrance. It's a unisex scent and yeah, loads of these will be unisex because I really enjoy wearing unisex scents. This is under the lemon tree from Le replica and this fragrance i really have been enjoying wearing because i find myself that sometimes in the winter it's really cold here in the uk at the moment all i wear is sweet fragrances and then i feel like i'm craving a bit of a freshness and this is definitely very very fresh very zingy it's a, a lime kind of scent and i love love limes and mojitos too this is a very very real it here. Oh yeah. I've got so many fragrances on my hands at the moment. <laughs> this is very, very fresh, kind of zingy scent with musk also and some cardamom. So it is a bit spicy and a bit creamy from the musk. It's a bit fuzzy, I would say. So you get a very, very fresh blast of fruit, uh, not fruit, of citruses at the beginning. And then they become a bit fuzzy and I really, really enjoy it. It's a very refreshing scent for me. It's when I uh, don't want to really smell myself that much. It's a very delicate kind of dainty scent. It's a very, it's a very close to skin scent. And I have also really been enjoying this compared to some of the other monsters I wear <laughs> in my wardrobe, my scent wardrobe. And it's just a very easy fragrance to wear, to grab, to just, it's a no-brainer. You don't have to think about, oh, where am I going? Is it, is, it, is the scent appropriate? I love lemons and citruses, so, and this is a lime scent, so yeah, I have been loving this. Number three is a very affordable scent. Again, a unisex scent, although it's sold in Zara Men. It's from a recent collection uh, they did. It's called an overdose collection. It cost me 12 pounds, guys, 12 pounds. And I wear it all the time. The, the longevity is eight hours plus. The scent throw, it's excellent. Even after eight hours plus, you can there's a cloud around you. I have gotten so many compliments on this fragrance. My husband is like, I want to wear it. He wears it also. And also my friend, she went out to get it straight away after she smelled it on me. So, I mean, it's so good. It's a bit of a dupe for the Labo Santal fragrance uh, and it's very affordable. And for the, the presentation of it, the scent throw is excellent. I have been just loving dosing myself in this and just enjoying the scent of Iris. And also I feel like it's got 
like creamy woodiness, like dry woodiness uh, accord in this. It is very uh, niche kind of uh, scent. So it's a niche, niche fragrance, I would say, on a budget. And this, I almost feel like it should be a candle and everything. It just, I want everything to smell like this because it's so good. Number two on my list is Maison Francisco Cajan Amorous Om. I have been obsessed with this fragrance. This is a male fragrance. Well, it's um, geared toward men, but I wear it and whoa. Since I got it, I wear it so often. The longevity of this is excellent. The scent for also, and I really, really like the scent profile this gives me. The scent of this is a cozy, milky chocolate with some spices. It's got rosemary in it, which is a very interesting smell and fragrance. It's a sweet sort of iris scent too, it's got iris in it, but it's not a very powdery iris. It's more of like a fresh, sweet kind of scent. And the iris in this makes it a cozy fragrance, but it's not like a lipstick kind of iris, if you know what I mean. It also smells coconutty. It's got some benzoin, mandarin. So it's a fresh coconutty goodness. It definitely does smell edible and it's just very unique and I don't smell people smelling like this. So I love it. I have gotten loads of compliments from it and it's something uh, that is a bit more of a colder weather scent. So I wear it loads and loads and loads because I can wear it now. Um, in the summer, I'll try it also to see if it can be a summer kind of scent. And I love Maison Francis Kirkajan, but this might be topping Grand Soir a little bit at the moment. This is how much I love it. Number one of what impressed me the most of, out of the scents I've tried in the past month is, I've got a sample here, Atelier des Ours Lune Feline. And wow, this is one of the original scents from when they started, Atelier des Ours. And this is a unisex scent once again. From the description of it, I was like, I really want to smell it. It is a dark, animalic vanilla scent. And I think it's a perfect unisex fragrance because if it was just the vanilla, it would be a female fragrance. But because of the darkness it's got, it's so interesting to me. It has got amazing longevity, projection. I really appreciate that in a uh, sense usually. And it's a winter weather fragrance. Look at the color of the juice. It's so like ambery. Oh my gosh, this smells like cardamom, vanilla, loads of vanilla. It's a, a gourmand kind of scent, but it's dark in the similar vein as, for example, Coromandel from Chanel. This is a similar sweet but dark scent. It's got so much pink pepper and it really brings out that darkness in the scent. It also has got an enormous dose of cinnamon, which I love. I love cinnamon and vanilla together. I think they complement each other very well. Apparently this has got ambergris in it, but I don't smell it much. And usually ambergris bothers me in fragrances and I can't smell it, but probably it makes it a bit more of a uh, unisex scent too. It also has got some musk. It makes it like a, a bit animalic, that musk. If I had to describe this in one word, I would say intriguing. I can't smell, um, I can't stop smelling myself when I'm wearing this because it's just, I love the juxtaposition of the sweetness and the darkness of this fragrance. It's just beautifully, beautifully blended, beautifully put together. And yeah, I, I just really want a full bottle totally because this, it is, at the moment, it's my number one. I love to wear it. I love smelling it around me. If you love gourmands, uh, if you love fragrances that are a bit intriguing, definitely give this a try. This is excellent. Really, really excellent. Let me know what are your top fragrances you are enjoying at the moment. Uh, and remember, if you love something, you can wear it no matter what the marketing people are telling you. And I'll post every Monday and Thursday now, not Friday, because I'm trying something new uh, for a few weeks. 
comment of the day. It is from Drew Bunch and he said, Monica, you scared me at the beginning of the video. I thought there wasn't gonna, gonna, going to be a free to one. Let's do this. Don't worry, but I like that you're noticing and waiting for the free to one. So thank you so much, Drew. Thank you for commenting. I always appreciate the time you took to write down your, uh, write your comments. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all again. Oh, 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 oh,